They're loud, aggressive, and sometimes terrifying. But what if we've been seeing baboons all wrong? Often painted as pests or villains in the wild, baboons are in fact one of the most intelligent, resourceful, and socially advanced primates on Earth. They've outlasted predators, adapted to extreme environments, and built civilizations within the chaos of nature. In this episode of The Last of Their Kind, we strip away the misconceptions and uncover what makes baboons one of the most complex and overlooked species in the animal kingdom. From their razor-sharp politics to the way they raise their young, this is their true story. It might surprise you, but a baboon's canine teeth can be longer than those of a lion. These teeth, paired with powerful jaw muscles, are more than just defense mechanisms. They're tools of dominance and survival. When baboons bear their fangs, it's not just intimidation, it's a message, don't test me. A bite from a baboon can shatter bone and leave serious wounds, but brute strength isn't used lightly. These displays often prevent actual fights. In the wild, showing off your weapons is a way to win battles without shedding blood. It's a survival strategy grounded in intelligence. Their jaws also serve a practical purpose, cracking open tough seeds, digging into roots, and even scavenging meat when the opportunity arises. Far from being one-dimensional, baboons use their anatomy in strategic, calculated ways to thrive where others struggle. Baboons are not a single species, but a widespread and diverse group made up of five closely related primates. From the dense woodlands of West Africa to the barren deserts of the Horn, Baboons have colonized some of the most challenging environments on the continent. Each species, Olive, Yellow, Chakma, Guinea, and Hamadryas, has evolved differently to survive where it lives. The Olive Baboon, for example, is a generalist. It can eat nearly anything and adapt to a range of climates. Chakma Baboons are larger and more rugged, navigating rocky outcrops and mountainsides. Hamadryas Baboons form harem-based societies, with one dominant male protecting a group of females, something rarely seen in other baboon types. Despite their differences, they share core traits, strong social bonds, high intelligence, and the ability to solve problems. Together, they form a fascinating example of how a single genus can diversify into multiple survival specialists. Baboons are instantly recognizable with long muzzles, sharp eyes, and powerful, agile bodies. Their faces resemble those of dogs, but their expressions are far more complex. Behind every stare is a mind constantly assessing threats, allies, and opportunities. Their limbs are long and muscular, built for climbing trees, sprinting short distances, and navigating uneven ground. Their hands, yes, hands, are remarkably dexterous. With opposable thumbs, they can peel fruit, pick up small insects, and even steal food from other animals, including humans. Every movement shows purpose and control. Their fur isn't just for looks. It provides protection from the sun, insulation in colder climates, and camouflage in their environment. Fur color varies by species, often blending into local terrain. It's just one more way baboons have adapted to become resilient, versatile survivors. Baboons don't just live in groups, they live in organized, hierarchical societies. A typical troop can contain 20 to over 100 individuals, each with a defined role. Dominant males lead, but their rule is constantly contested. Fights, alliances, and politics are everyday parts of troop life. Power is never permanent. Females inherit their rank from their mothers, forming matrilineal clans within the group. These bonds are the glue that holds the society together. High-ranking females have better access to food and protection, and their daughters often enjoy the same privileges. Grooming is the lifeblood of these relationships. It removes parasites, yes, but more importantly, it maintains peace. Grooming someone is a sign of trust and friendship. Being groomed by a higher-ranking baboon can also be a political boost. These intricate dynamics aren't random. They show how baboons have developed a social intelligence that rivals even some great apes. Baboons invest deeply in the next generation. A newborn baboon is completely dependent on its mother. For the first few months, it clings to her fur, nursing frequently, sleeping against her chest, and learning the world from her movements. Mother-infant bonds are strong and enduring. A mother doesn't just feed her baby, she protects, teaches, and socializes it. Lessons include what food to eat, how to groom, who to avoid, and how to respond to alarm calls. As the infant matures into a juvenile, other members of the troop begin to play a role in its development. Through play, observation, and mimicry, 
young baboons start learning the intricate rules of troop life, when to submit, how to assert dominance, and how to navigate the troop's complex political landscape. This social training is not optional, it's essential. Without it, a baboon would struggle to survive in one of the most competitive social environments in the animal kingdom. The future of any baboon troop lies not with the strongest male, but in the survival of its youngest and the stability of its social bonds. As older baboons pass down knowledge, behaviors, and alliances, the next generation learns how to live in a world shaped by both instinct and experience. Every grooming session, every chase, every stare, it's all part of an unspoken education. But their future is uncertain. Across Africa, baboons are increasingly clashing with expanding human development. Roads cut through their territories. Farmlands bring conflict. In some areas, they're hunted as pests or captured for trade. Despite this, baboons persist. Their adaptability is unmatched. They've learned to survive beside humans, even if it means raiding crops or scavenging from cities. Yet survival in a shrinking wilderness comes at a cost. Social structures break down, behaviors change, and ancient rhythms are disrupted. At the last of their kind, we believe understanding is the first step toward protection. These animals aren't intruders, they're the original inhabitants. And if we listen closely, their stories reveal not just their strength, but their right to remain. If you want to see more deep dives into the untold lives of animals like the baboon, subscribe and stay tuned. Because some species aren't just disappearing, they're being forgotten. And we're here to make sure they aren't the last of their kind.